Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Moore, and I'm going to share my devotional with you all today. A thought came to me a while ago, and it talked about consistency. And the idea was that there are generally three kinds of consistency. The first kind is consistent consistency. That means being a wise steward of your money. It could be taking care of your health, exercising consistently, and making good food choices. For some, consistency could mean being intentional in your relationships with your family, your coworkers, friends, or whoever you are connected with. Generally, when you are consistent in those, you are focused, diligent, and others know that you are reliable and that they can trust in what you are saying and what you are doing. Another kind of consistency is temporary consistency. This means you're only consistent long enough to reach a desired goal. And once you reach that desired goal, then you pretty much stop being consistent. Um, this could be only exercising enough to maybe get into a certain outfit or exercising just enough just so your doctor can say, okay, your blood pressure isn't up again. Or it could be, well, I'm only gonna save enough money to go on a trip, to get a car, or to purchase whatever it is that I want to purchase. So this kind of temporary consistency, it doesn't help you to bear fruit because you're always going back and forth because as soon as you reach your goal, you stop. And then another kind of consistency is inconsistency. That means there is little to no consistency in your life, your words, or your actions. This can be making plans and not following through. It could be making excuses as to why you aren't consistent or failing to stay focused due to fear, laziness, or a lack of motivation. Either way, it hinders your growth in every aspect of life. When faced with the challenge to stay consistent, I want to encourage you guys to read three verses. One is Colossians 3 and 23, and it says, whatever you do, do it with all of your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. Another one is Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all of your might. Another verse is Proverbs 13 verse 4. And the easy translation says, a lazy person always wants more, but he will not get it. If a person works hard, he will have more than what he needs. These verses help me to realize that whatever I do, I have to do it for the Lord. I have to do it so he can get the glory out of my life and not so much to prove it to people because people will change, desires change, feelings change and different things like that. But whatever work we do, whatever goals we set, we have to do it so the Lord can get the glory out of our lives. But these verses also help me to realize that I can't be lazy, I can't be inconsistent and expect results, positive results. So I want to encourage you all to let the Lord get the glory out of your life and whatever you do, do your best to stay consistent. Thank you.